I got my own personal assistant. I'll never mix my own color again. Hi everyone, it's April with Hair 101 and today I'm going to do a blonde idol high lift color on my cute niece. She has pretty much all virgin hair. Years and years ago we did a teeny bit of lightener on her ends so you can see it's a little bit lighter. But we're going to do some new balayage and make it so beautiful. So today I'm using the titanium, the T in the blonde idol with a 40 volume and I mixed it up in my color whip. So it's really, really pretty consistency, nice and fluffy. And I'm also going to be using these foils because even though I'm going to be like painting it on by hand, I want to consolidate them with foils so that the heat really lightens it up so we get the maximum amount of heat. I found that if I let it just air process, it doesn't quite get as light. So there's a little tip for you because her hair is pretty dark. I'd say it's a level five. So the other thing I really love about these blonde idols is Redken is just awesome. They put so much information on the box to help us. Um, it tells you right here what level you should be using each color for to neutralize the undertone. Because if I were to take the V thinking, oh, I want to neutralize the yellow, because most of the time when you're thinking blonde, you're thinking you want to counteract that yellow. But with how dark her hair is, if I put a V on her hair, it would still be really, really orange. So it really helps you to formulate. And um, you can see with the titanium, the titanium is the darkest. It goes from a level, it goes from a level three to a five. So you could use this on someone that has level three hair and still get a desirable undertone when it's all done processing because the titanium is closer to like a green undertone, the grays. Um, if you look at like an ash green on the swatch chart, it's kind of closer to the titaniums. So this is going to counteract that undertone of red in her hair and also the orange. So this is a good choice. That's why I chose the T. The B would have also been a good choice. It probably would have had a teeny bit more warmth. It's for levels five to seven. And then obviously the violet is for the lighter people. Like I could probably get away with doing a violet on um, like Davy's hair because Davy has like a level seven hair. But um, I might even still go with a B for his hair because I would want an ashy tone. So I hope that makes sense. Hopefully you guys understand undertones. That is a huge part of formulating because you have to know what pigment is going to be uncovered and exposed that you need to neutralize while you're formulating. So there's a little tip. Okay, I just went ahead and I did a, just a basic tea parting on her hair. And we're gonna start in the back. And I'm going to take about a half of an inch of hair and then clip the rest of it up. I'm going to use my Redken color board and a foil. Because we're using a high lift and not like a balayage lightener, you have to do things a little bit differently. If I were to paint this on just like I would with like a balayage lightener, it would be too like it would saturate through too much and you would end up with spots. So this is what I'm doing. I'm taking her hair, the whole entire section, it is pretty thick, it's like two inches thick, and I'm taking about a half of an inch of the end, a little bit in the middle, and then another half an inch at the other end. So it's still gonna have this like V mark because I'm gonna trail it up a little bit more on these sides and then a little bit less in the middle and then saturate the ends. But we're taking a color board, putting a foil on it, putting it a couple inches away from her scalp. And she has super long hair, so I'll show you what I do. I kind of just put a good amount of color right here to hold the hair in place. And it does hold it pretty well. And then I just lightly feather up on these ends and trying to stay a couple inches away from her hair still. And on those, I'm not pushing super hard because I don't want it to saturate. And then once I have that, I'm gonna just make sure it's blended in with my blur brush, that I don't have any blobs or like spots that are gonna look spotty, unless I'm going for that. And then we're gonna go through, ooh, see what I just did there? I made like a line. So you have to go through and blend that line out. That's what we don't want, there you go. And then we can slide the foil down a little bit 
and kind of leave that up there just exposed. And then we can saturate all of these ends with the, the color, the titanium. And then you can just stick another foil on top and it will stick right to it. So that is what we're going to do all the way up both of these sides in the back. So we're leaving out chunks of hair, but that's going to be good because it'll give her some dimension. She doesn't want to be super, super blonde. the shorter section of bangs that she's growing out in the front so I just left those out and I'm going to pull all of those back but I'm going to do the same technique just pulling it back and I don't need the foil board or the red can board anymore because I can just use her head now so there we go We are done. We are going to let this process for 45 minutes at room temperature. And I'm going to take the very tips of these ones that I just left out and color those too because I just decided that would be really pretty to have a little bit more around her face. There we go. All righty. You are ready. All right. These come out really easy. You just kind of slide them out because they're not folded or anything. Ooh. You can see the color, it's so pretty. Oh yeah, I'm excited. You can see all of her pretty highlights through here. Just look how pretty that is. All right, to blow dry her, I'm putting in this 25 Benefits, One United. This stuff's awesome. Put it on everybody. It's good for all hair types. Love that stuff. And I'm also going to put a little bit of this Frizz to Smith Smooth Force because she's got some really natural curly hair and it can get frizzy sometimes. And then I'm going to do a little bit of the, ser the smoothing um, serum too of this Frizz to Smith. Okay, we are all done. This is my cute niece and she now has these beautiful, natural, subtle looking highlights. So this is the thing that I love about the Blonde Idol High Lift is this has no toner on it. This is a one process. This is exactly what we got. This is the 9T and it's just a pretty tone. And yes, if you wanted more lift, you would probably use one of the lighteners, of course but we wanted it to just be subtle like this. This is exactly what we wanted, and so choosing a high lift was the perfect option for her. I also wanted to mention the high lifts. Um, if you did want to have more of that titanium show through, you could use that on a lighter color hair and it would show through a little bit, but pretty much they're made to neutralize undertones. So these are really beautiful, subtle highlights, and I think it turned out great. What do you think? Do you like them? Let's show the back how it looks like it's all back. All right, you guys, and you aren't going to believe this, but this girl's only 13 years old. She's like taller than me almost. This is crazy. I can't believe my nieces are growing up so much. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let me know what you guys think below. 
What is your favorite thing to do with high lifts? Let me see below in the comments. I wanna hear what you guys love doing. I love putting them on people that have just like virgin hair and they just want a little bit of brightness and pop. So exactly what we did here. So comment below, let me know. And don't forget to subscribe below. Just click the little button. It's red and it says subscribe. So if you haven't done that yet, click and you will be happy for the rest of your life with hair from April. And we will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, see ya. And also on this side, you can cross check as well. And I would always suggest to cross check this haircut because it's really easy to over direct a little bit on accident.